What's up? What's wrong with you, Hannah Brown? From now on, I'm gonna sing that little ditty every time I address foolery. Rest in peace to your headphones. Y'all, here we are again. <laughs> it's another lovely day in the black neighborhood. Um, here we go again, having to call someone to the carpet. This time it's Hannah Brown from The Bachelorette. So some white folks right now are fighting for their God-given right to use the n-word while they're singing their songs while they're having their coffee while they're doing their morning jog while they're grooming their dog it's their god-given right to use the n-word if it is in a song and why shouldn't they be able to participate in calling out ninjas of their own race white people got ninjas too white women stay checking white men ninja where you been ninja where you been ninja where you been where you been ninja I called your mama house. She said you wasn't there. Where you been, ninja? <laughs> I am too stupid. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this story before people get pissed off. So first of all, her name told me everything I needed to know about her. I know this type of white girl. I live around this type of white girl. I went to college with this type of white girl and they are some of the worst. On a scale of Becky, she is somewhere between Rebecca and Beckzilla. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I would suggest that you check out this article from theroot.com called The Five Types of Becky. And we ain't talking about Becky with the good hair. But I think I'm leaning more towards her being a Rebecca. She gives me that vibe, that white girl vibe that the ones that will start a fight with you and then when you call them out, what do they do? They start crying. Why is everybody ganging up on me? She gives me that, oh, I love everyone. Everyone is equal. But if you stumble on her yard, she gonna shoot your ass. <laughs> she gives me, I like to ride black peen. So now I can use the N word. I'm not racist, obviously. She gives me, yeah, I had a baby by a black man, but why is my daughter's hair so nappy? What is this shit? That's what she gives me. You let me know what she gives you. You see, the thing is, I know white women because I used to be friends with a lot of white women until I caught on to the foolery and the fooly wang. I used to hang with all kinds of white girls. They liked me. They trusted me because I look like them. I'm that quote unquote safe looking black girl, black woman, whatever. I have my own white woman using the N-word story. Stay with me. I used to live in this condo, right? And there was a girl, a white woman that lived upstairs for me and we connected because we both like to go out clubbing and to the bars or whatever and get dressed up. So we became pretty friendly to be honest. And she even convinced me to watch her stupid ass dog. <laughs> So one day we went to dinner with my ex-boyfriend and they're having some conversation about the units and them not being up to code. So he's sharing information that he's found out with her about these units being kind of faulty or things being faulty. And she goes in response, oh my God, they completely nigger rigged it. I swear to God, that's what she said verbatim. So of course she starts apologizing to the table and goes on that whole, I'm not racist, I swear, I'm, I swear to God I'm not racist, bitch. Okay, so anyway, let's move on to Hannah Brown. So our good sis Hannah was on Instagram Live over the weekend when one of her friends in the background asked her if she remembered a particular song and how it went. And she's like, yeah, I do. It's doom, 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 nigger. <laughs> And it was almost like she didn't skip a beat. It just kind of flowed out of her mouth for some reason. I don't know if she just forgot that she was on Instagram Live while her face was in the camera. But there, at the end of the video, there was this look on her face like, oh shit, I fucked up. But also she starts reading responses and people are like, did you just say the N word? And she's like, what? No, I would never do that. You just said it. What are you talking about? Oh, um, yeah, it's, um, yeah, how does that one go? Um, I, I did the other day. It's like, right now I'm like, Annie, with a cop cock, with a pistol on my rear back, I'm a cop. Have you ever seen a real nigga rock star? It's not going to guitarist, it's a thrower. Yeah. All right, Glock, give me this, throw it, pull it. Yeah, I've done it. Here's the thing, everybody makes, like, or be like, do, do one of the TikTok dances. I'll learn them, I want to put it out of my head as soon as I learn it, because I, I had done it 15 zillion times to do that one thing. Um, did I just say what? Did she just say what did I say? What did I say? I don't even know. Braid my hair. 
And then one of her friends chimes in and she's like, oh, you didn't say that. Someone else said that. That was Amber over there. We just saw her say the N word into the camera. She was singing a song. What are you talking about? Someone else said it. People are so stupid. So anyway, of course, this has now kind of, I guess, gone viral or it's starting to pick up traction. And people are calling her out that white folks are really just non-black folks, but it gets a little muddy, need to just stop saying the word. It's not that hard. You can sing along and not say it. And if you notice in the video, she makes the conscious decision to not say the F word, but she's okay saying nigger. I'm starting to think that people are doing this for attention because there's no such thing as bad press, right? They know the blogs will pick it up. They know the people like me who do commentary will pick it up and we'll talk about them for a couple days and get their little names out there and then nothing will happen to them. So <laughs> it's like PR, stra it's like a strategy at this point. It, that's what it seems like to me. Just like with that Gina Rodriguez chick last year when she was on Instagram Live and she was singing along to the Fugees. And out of all the lines in that like five minute song, she picked the one line that had the N word in it. Coinkadink or not? Voodoo, I could do what you do, believe me. Niggas give me heebie jeebies. <laughs> and then when she goes to make her apology, she says, oh, well I thought I could say it because I'm Puerto Rican. What does that mean, girl? You're a national of Puerto Rico, so therefore you have some rights over, <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. So Hannah has issued an apology. She posted this on Instagram. I owe you all a major apology. There is no excuse and I will not justify what I said. I have read your messages and seen the hurt I have caused. I own it all. I am terribly sorry and know that whether in public or private, this language is unacceptable and I promise to do better. Love Hannah, heart shape. So Rachel Lindsay has spoken out on Instagram at this point and she asked Hannah to make an apology that features her face. And she's probably feeling some type of way because she too is a bachelorette alumni and she probably thought Hannah was her friend. So she is imploring Hannah to get on camera and make a sincere apology instead of this little bullshitty one that she put out there. I don't know why we continue to beg these people to apologize to us. What is an apology gonna do? Nothing. Stop begging these people. I did. I'm so sorry. That wasn't you. That was... Um... Brooke. No, I was singing this. I'm so sorry. I was <laughs> it's easy to make a statement. It's easy to hide behind words. But when you're bold enough to say the N-word on camera, on your platform, let me just say it. When you're bold enough to say the word nigger on your platform, then you need to be bold enough to use your face and you're on camera and apologize in the same way that you said the word. Like, I'm not discrediting the apology. I'm just saying that we can't give people a pass for this. We have to hold people accountable for what they're doing. Like Rachel, it is not your place to ask Hannah to apologize to the world for saying the N word. She knows better. I don't know how old she is, but she look a smooth 30 to me. She is not a child. She knows that she should apologize, but guess what? She doesn't want to because she doesn't have to. And that's that. Stop begging these people. I feel sorry for Rachel though, because she is the only black bachelorette. So when she goes to these reunion shows in the back of her mind, she's gonna know that Hannah is possibly a racist, that she definitely says the N word, and that these other girls that are part of that alumni are still gonna mess with her. They will still be friends with her. It's not gonna matter that Rachel is there or Rachel may feel uncomfortable. Rachel is alone, essentially. I guarantee it. That's a hard pill to swallow when you are the only black woman in those types of spaces, just like I said in my other video about Trina McGee. So Tyler Cameron is Hannah's ex-boyfriend and he is fine as hell, by the way. I just had to throw that out there. But he released a either a series of tweets or an Instagram response to defend Rachel Lindsay and her request that Hannah uh, issue a sincere apology. But even his messages are a little tone deaf. Like even though he's trying to defend Rachel Lindsay and call white people out, I mean, it just, there's something like lost in translation there. His message says, in these moments, you have the opportunity to bury someone or lift them up. We need to lift Hannah B up from this. She is learning and growing just like every single one of us. Love rids hate. Hate only makes more hate. Let's learn to lift each other up in love. Stop coddling these got. 
damn women. Just stop it. We don't need to lift Hannah B up in love. Hannah B is a grown woman. She needs to lift herself up and go read a book or something. You cannot tell me that in this era, the woke era especially, she doesn't know that she shouldn't be singing along to uh, a song like that or saying that the N word. I don't care if she paid for it or not. She knows better. And then you have all these people online talking about how they support these rappers. They go to their shows, they buy their music, so they have the right to say the N word if they want to. I mean, you can say what you want to say, but you can't escape the consequences. That's the thing. If you would not say it in, in someone's face, if you would not say it to a person of color, then obviously there's something wrong. If you want to sing it in your car or whatever, roll up your window when somebody black <laughs> comes along, lock your door while you sing an N word to yourself, you know, that's your business. But to get on Instagram and say something like that and just be like, <laughs> I didn't say that. Oh my God. Or that we need to lift this bitch up. That's crazy. And I'm tired of it. So anyway, those are my thoughts about this situation. You guys let me know. I mean, share your own Becky stories with me. <laughs> I'm always sipping tea. So <laughs> you guys let me know what you think about this situation. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.